iUnicore dropping the armor case, dual fans, full aluminum enclosure. I'm calling this the tank case for the Raspberry Pi 3B. Let's check it out. Today we have the armor case. So this is for the Raspberry Pi 3B. Eventually this should come out for the 3B Plus, but if you have the newer Pi, unfortunately right now this doesn't work for this. But if you have the Raspberry Pi 1.2 gigahertz, it should work fine. Opening the box, you get some foam, little instruction manual. Wow, this is crazy beefy. Wow, this is a tank. This is a pretty significant piece of aluminum here with dual fans ready to be hooked up there. Um, going Two fans going into one hookup, so just two GPIO pins will take on that. So you get a piece of foam here. You do get little adhesives for each of the processors. The processor, the uh, network, and the RAM on the bottom. And then in the case over here, you have the bottom plate. So really clean design. If you can see these lines in here, if you can see the lines here, really clean designs. And then this piece has a spot for the pro for the RAM on the bottom. Like I said, GPIO is there. And then whew, huge heat sinks here. Like this thing, I mean, you could probably recycle this thing for aluminum and make some money. <laughs> I'm sure it's not as much worth as the other, but you know how it is. So anyways, it still has a little cutout here for the GPIOs. It still has camera port, display port options. So it is... Uh, specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, so what we're going to do here is you get screws and you get um, some tabs, some uh, adhesives. And uh, it's a very simple install. Install the thermal blocks, set up your Pi, put, t put the top on the Pi. It even gives you the right GPIOs to stick this in. Alright, so let's get started here. That is a beaut. I mean, it's pretty protected too. I mean, let's say you drop it, it hits the, um, I mean, potentially maybe you can knock off the USBs, but I mean, look how, look how thick that is. None of the ports are exposed. Like a little bit of that auxiliary jack is, it, but I don't, that's not gonna break off. You got the fans. So I got access to the SD card slot. This is beefy. Like, if I wanted a case with really good cooling, uh, this might be it. And the thing I like about this is this should be better with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The reason why the um, the um, the reason why the all aluminum cases tend not to be very popular is because they do block Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But with this. Um, it should be decent. It should be better as it has some openings. F4 on the keyboard. All right. All right, we have our current temp at 104. All I did was I booted up the Pi, so it should be nice and cool. And um, we can even take a temp. Now it's at 36 degrees, so even lower, 37. And just idling. Fans are really quiet. You can't even hear them. Super quiet, dual fans here, people. So I have high expectations for this. So what this test is gonna do is max out all four cores and run a CPU benchmark test. And I've done this on all my videos so far for cases, so this will give you a good idea. You can compare the results. So here we go, run the test. Wow, so it didn't even really jump up that high. I went up to 46. <laughs> Look how fast it's dropping. This is the fastest I've ever seen this drop. Wow. It went from 46 degrees down to 40 degrees within 10, 15 seconds. Wow. Wow, we're almost back to stock. Continues to drop.
pretty good. So there you have it. Overall, super happy with the case. I know the price is a little high, um, but compared to like the Wicked Aluminum and some of the more beefier aluminum cases out there, um, it definitely competes there. You get the dual fans, and as I mentioned, I'm still going to experiment with it, but I imagine the network, Wi-Fi, as well as the Bluetooth is going to perform better on here. It adds extra protection, and I mean, you are buying a solid piece of aluminum. That dual fan kit by itself is close to $10, so the value is here. Um, I just think it's a little bit of a sticker shock at first. Anyways, all those things said, thumbs up. I mean, this is probably going to be between this and my Wicked Aluminum are going to be my go-to for my uh, my my desk build, and that's the build I do all my videos on. So, really, really liking this one. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.